Hello, hello, another day, another uh, day for spoilers in the DBS card game. And this one's gonna be a little bit uh, quicker than the last ones. I don't wanna dwell too much on everything, but we do have a lot of new cards. Well, I wouldn't say a lot, but a good number of cards that answer other cards, i.e. silver bullets. We have updates to the event packets. We have the SER card, which actually looks awesome. Um, no surprise there as far as the art goes and we're, we're gonna go and get into all of it. So the first one here is the uh, one mat. I don't know why people keep, keep saying well, what mats. I know it's a world martial arts tournament, but I'm just gonna say world tournament Just easier that way. Uh, so this one is the newest SCR. It is the oob and Goku uh, I've been saying again that combo is a pretty busted in itself so much value and now we have a SER, or NSER, um, I guess because it's abbreviated, it doesn't sound too bad. And um, not too bad, not too bad. So this one, as you can see, is an eight drop, uh, becomes a six due to its permanent. Uh, and I, 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 uh, I hope, uh, <laughs> uh, I hope this is not on there is basically what I'm what I'm trying to think of. I'm like, I hope this is not. I'm pretty sure it's not, right? They're not going to ruin a card just like that, right? Right? All right, whatever. This one is a double striker with a dual attack. So obviously um, an ultimate has to have something pretty good. All the previous ultimates had triple attack and or something that uh, allowed it to attack multiple times, i.e. the secret Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, of course, it's an ultimate card. You can only have one of them. And um, if your looter card is a wall tournament, so uh, this automatically, automatically devalues the card simply because it has to have a wall tournament leader. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You can probably fit it, fit it into the, um, the the oob deck if you're running like mono blue, which is a thing. I mean, you could do that. Or if you want to run blue in all the other wall tournament decks, but it's requiring six energy at the most eight. So, yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it's a good looking card though. Uh, and it's another Goku, but it has Oob in it, so it's different, right? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure all the Gokus, or all this SCR is going to be Gokus. If you believe the same, just let me know in the comment. Um, if you lead a card as a world tournament, if there are six or more, um, six more cards, six cards or more in both your energy and your opponent's energy area that decreases cards energy by two in your hand that is and uh so automatically you can play this for six energy it does not have deflect so if a person wants to go ahead and crush your ball it it can if it wants to crush your uh, uh cold blast it it can uh and now it's just effectively a 60 uh, a six drop forty thousand or eight drop forty thousand um so you know you know, at least it'll call well, us the ultimate part. You can just play another one, right? Uh, <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. And when your card attacks, choose up to one card each uh, from your opponent's life and energy area uh, and place them at the bottom of their owner's deck in any order. So now it has a dual attack, 40,000 double strike, going for a game um, and at the minimum taking one life and one energy. So uh, if you guys are somehow both at six energy, which is probably doable with all the set five stuff coming out just later down in the line like I, i'd imagine because people are again sleeping on a little bit on the world tournament um set as far as the capability and the cards and um just the funness out of it um it, it's possible that we could get to six energy uh both by delaying the game enough in order to play this as a finisher um but again 40,000 double strike is still a lot. Um, the only thing that you have to worry about is to make sure to uh, use minus Killy Zone so that way it doesn't get Crusher Balled or Cold Blood Lusted. How, uh, what do I think about it? I think it looks like a fun card. It is a very suited to an ultimate card. Why it needs uh, six energy when the Dunmigger needs five, the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku needs five, the ultimate SER um, uh, Vegito needs five. Uh, why is it six? Yeah, that's just my thing. Like, I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't do that. But I, yeah, I know this is a very powerful effect. It reminds me of uh, Zamasu, Kanye Shrug, you know? Uh, there's really not much else. Uh, everything else, you know, it's released on the 21st. Um, if you buy a box or a case or whatever, you'd probably get it. 
people are probably not gonna buy cases of this but we you never know you never know so that's pretty much the only thing um as far as the new stuff for world tournament uh that stuff right there is just a strategy for next week all right let me hop over to the miscellaneous things for this one we just talked about the uh secret rare and the next video is most likely going to be uh, all the black ones it's just gonna be a little bit longer i just didn't want to make it too long so uh if you didn't notice uh obviously as of the time of this recording what is it today the uh 14th yeah tomorrow's dayton and then fourth worth texas so that's gonna be interessante um uh, it's not gonna be here i don't think but uh we do have the new october uh play mats if you didn't see that i'm gonna be in vegas so if you uh if you're gonna be in october the 6th um definitely hit me up uh and we'll we'll uh we'll throw some hands in that uh i don't know if they updated yeah they did okay cool uh so these are the new colossal warfare championship the shop championship is gonna be interessante uh when we when we get to that point and um I, I don't know how again i don't know how i feel about it yet but these are pretty cool the shop championship uh certificates as well uh we got the top eight cards so these are all shenron green background event packets so i think in metallic foil these are um they're gonna be looking really good honestly they're gonna be looking real real good uh i, I do like the gold instead i think gold is more of a, a very cool shiny color but these are very um collectible as well because of the shenron and the metallic so we'll see so the last one sanding from the ultimate box pretty cool uh prefaces uh discovery goku uh, or recovery goku uh the kefla from the dash pack uh this one from the dash pack pardock of course sun goten um still gonna be a really good card i mean you know this is whatever uh people are gonna be hounding over those that's for sure bold super saiyan 2 Khalifa, ready to like sun goku that's gonna be awesome and then keep on support Kakot. I don't know why they they chose this one like you could have done furthering destruction champa you could have done um uh, the new world tournament cards like the west kai uh there's literally the same card but whatever <laughs> there's a lot of other cards you could have done okay uh but pretty cool that you do get top eight for that we'll see what happens though so class of warfare championship uh and i don't think there's really anything else i just really wanted to go over that stuff coming soon so i mean we, we did the we Hmm. Oh, okay. October 28th, 20th to 28th. So that's pretty cool. We'll see what happens before set four or set five releases. <laughs> and of course, the uh, I was just seeing there's anything new here, but I think really the, the newest thing is going to be the ruling. Oh, the card ruling. Um, but we'll see. Uh, let's hop over to World tournaments i don't think there's anything here when you attack can you activate the skill yep you can uh i don't think there's anything that i remember that we had to go over if you do see something uh let me know in the comments and so that way everybody knows um yep 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 uh yep uh okay okay Oh, okay 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 i was just looking i was just looking sorry 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 uh but the real biggest part right now is the new ruling or the clarification anyway of uh energy lock of vegeta so the the newest one is force suggestion mass saiyan uh so the question is if you do you check do you check the if you have less energy uh than your opponent condition of this card skill when you play this card uh no you don't so the you you have less energy than your opponent condition of this card skill is referring to your energy state when you place energy during your charge phase so uh for energy lock vegeta and way back when when i maybe not even way back when about a month ago when um i uh i released the 10 minute shenanigans for energy lock or basically just uh the new ultimate box vegeta the toolbox in which you take a life you play mass uh mass saiyan and then um uh warp and energy as i understand and as as everybody's reading this as well is that uh, it only it only refers to your energy when you placed it so it does not refer to uh anything outside of that so the only time that you can actually play force ejection mass saiyan is when you you uh have that energy 
when you placed it. So uh, if Super Saiyan 3 has four energy, you place one, you have three. That's the only time you're gonna do it. If you guys both have three, you take one with um, uh, Ultimate Box Vegeta and don't put anything back and then use Mass Saiyan, you cannot use the skill. So this effectively nerfs, if not kills off energy lock Vegeta. Uh, I think most people are gonna be moving towards like red, blue, maybe playing blue, yellow, but at the same time, it kind of like, shout out to Eggman, uh, kind of like fucked up everything when it comes to uh, preparing for the next regional. Um, and uh, if you've been playing energy lock Vegeta, which is a huge, huge, huge answer to S Super Saiyan 3 for a lot of different cases, um, and it's just it's just really it's just really kind of dumb, uh, simply because we we've, we've had two, three, four at regionals now, maybe uh, like two or three, uh, in which Energy Lock Vegeta was running around and doing that all all the time, uh, or throughout the whole regional or all the regionals, and uh, now it's just uh, null and void. So that is a, that is definitely kind of a bummer, um, but it is it is a necessary evil, I guess, just so we can regulate the game. Um, but oh well, I, I suppose. I, I I mean, I played it. I I I felt disgusted uh, each time I did it, but it was kind of fun just locking someone in two or three energy. So <laughs> I guess I guess I guess I wasn't I wasn't too bummed out. I mean, I was I wasn't a I wasn't the villain too bad. <laughs> uh, during your turn's charge phase, after you put a card in your energy area, you meet the conditions of you have less energy than your opponent. Then during your main phase, you no longer meet those conditions. Can you still? Resolve this cards activate choose one. <laughs> That's stupid. I didn't even notice this part But during your charge phase if you place if you put a card in your energy area and meet the conditions of uh, You have less energy than your opponent any difference in energy uh, During that main phase does not matter and you get to still choose one and warp it or place in the drop area um, uh, That's funny. I don't know why they say uh, energy to the drop area. It's it's warp. I don't know. It's are, are, are we on the same page? Are we still on the same page? This is for suggestion, Matt saying, right? Warp, not drop area. Anyway, um, that's hilarious because now <laughs> if you're going against Super Saiyan 3, you can still use it. You can ramp with uh, objection uh, and then still use Matt, for suggestion, Matt saying, and then warp something. So now <laughs> they effectively could be, you could be at two energy. They, at, they are at three um, and you charge one for two energy, of course. Uh, and then you use objection, use mass saying right after that because I mean that's actually not a bad idea. Now you're at three energy, and now you get the warp one for their two, <laughs> and now they're at two, and now you kind of even the um, the playing field even more there. Actually, you'll be up more energy when you charge one. So that is hilarious. I don't think there's any other ruling that I actually actually wanted to go over. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Um, this is. Uh, th like set five and, and probably set six next year are going to be very interesting uh, to see and how and see how the um, I don't I don't know why what I'm going I don't know where I'm going now I don't I, we're just gonna go to the top uh, I don't, to see how the game shapes up um, and I'm very interested to see how it goes uh, there's a lot of very much very much of questionable decisions for a lot of different things. But I have, uh, I'm gonna play, like I said, I, I said this way before, uh, or a long time before, I'm gonna be playing the game until it dies, right? Um, until they stop printing, until I can't go anywhere, until an untap closes their doors. Um, that's when I'm gonna stop playing. So if anything, let me know how you feel about this. Uh, let me know if you're excited about the, uh, the secret rare. Let me know how you feel about the ruling. Uh, like, dislike, comment, all that, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.